it's that time of year again. Yep. Uh, it's me. Previously on Alan Wake, fresh from the prostate exam. I Thomas Zane did the same. Hold on, I need to get up real quick to change my colostomy bag, but uh, I'll be right back. The story I'm writing won't save Alice. Also, uh, just in case you didn't know it, the story that Alan Wake wrote is coming to life. You're the lady of the light. Yeah, it's a horror story too, not a rom-com like I initially thought. <laughs> I mean, it kind of seemed like it would be at first, but Barry, Barry, let's talk it out, Barry. I always loved you, Barry. It's me, Alan Wake. Alan Wake standing outside of the apartment window. Uh, Holding up a boom box and it's just reciting the audiobook of his own writing. <laughs> the, the audiobook for the sudden stop. Yeah. Narrated by Alan Wake. Yeah, of course, naturally. Wow. Alan got so drunk he woke up upside down on his bed. Wearing his clothes, I too. Hangover. My head was about to explode and the light hurt my eyes. I needed my Suddenly we're playing Dark Seed. Oh, I need moments of self sunglasses. I swore to I need painkillers so that I can defeat the ring toss. I need I need painkillers so Max Payne will come over to my house again. <laughs> He's not talking to me after last time. Uh, the sunglasses he, he won't talk to me unless I sell him my painkillers. <laughs> keep my eyes open without feeling like a vampire in the sun. Hey, that's pretty great. I should write a vampire book. Oh, God. Alan Wake writing, like, uh, a, a gothic horror vampire story would just be the most tedious shit in the world. It would just be a bunch of vampires sitting around drinking whiskey and fast. talking about how the nobody appreciates them. <laughs> I, could, I could bite ten necks that year, and they'd be the best that year. There was a message I would, I would bite a machine. mile of necks. Vampires of the Elder Gods. I love Barry. If Alice wasn't too mad to record it, that she called me earlier and really chewed me out. Yeah, yeah, we went a little overboard last night. But parties are a part of this business. Al, look, I'm saying this as your friend. She's not doing your career any favors by trying to run your Damn. Okay? Al, ever since my wife left me, I haven't been happier. <laughs> oh, hold on a second. My, my Kraft macaroni and cheese is done. <laughs> Uh, hold on a sec, I just gotta lick this envelope for my alimony payments. <laughs> <laughs> my alimony payments! <laughs> I'd been a guest on the talk show the previous night, talking about my latest book. The show was supposed to be waiting for me. Ellen Wade, TV. brought to you by TiVo. That makes me wonder, did they get a fucking <laughs> sponsorship deal with TiVo too? <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, everybody. How's it going? We're finished. Yeah, of course they are. I've been talking with the best-selling author Alan Wake about his new book, The Sudden Stop. <laughs> what a bunch of toilet paper, am I right, Ilka <laughs> Billy? <laughs> yeah, buy my book so I can pay my rent. Oh my fucking god, the cardboard cutout of Alan Wake. Buy my book! <laughs> buy my book! <laughs> the new age of standees. Jeez. <laughs> A spoiler for those who haven't read the book yet based on the sales figures the two people out there who haven't read the book yet <laughs> but this last book is all about the death of the main character how are you uh, New York do you think that if this were real he would get away with spoiling the book on live television I think it will probably be a like a selling point like oh like a beloved Alex a beloved Casey. hero finally bites yeah it. yeah like when R.A. Salvatore dropped a moon on Chewbacca <laughs> <laughs> to be fair that was the best part of the extended universe I still haven't forgiven you R.A. Salvatore you goon <laughs> you goony <laughs> much luck with his love life with the ladies. Was that autobiographical in any way? Yeah, no kidding. Casey's I'm married, you son of a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> I'm married, but not for much longer. No. I'm married, but not happily. <laughs> I'm a happily married man. My wife is my muse. Well, congratulations. Yep. That's great to hear. My, my wife is my muse. I love you, Alan. Uh, I mean, Alice. Alice, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> 
<laughs> That's right. I love me. I mean, her. you. <laughs> yeah. And, um, you got into a fight with some paparazzi. Oh, man. Yeah, but they're well, subhuman, really so. Yeah, exactly. I know that wasn't cool. Uh, you are they're dark creatures. Temper. It's okay to beat them up. Well, I did <laughs> also write several books. <laughs> <laughs> well, your latest novel is called The Sudden Stop, and it's in bookstores now. Go get it. That means the two of you out there who haven't bought it yet. Oh, my God. It's like they're talking directly to you and I. I want to thank all oh, jeez. <laughs> I don't read that shit. <laughs> Oh, fucking here we go. Hi, Sam Lake! Oh, yeah! yeah! He smelled the poop! Oh, he smelled the poop! <laughs> yes! At least uh, I've been funny. I told myself I could live with that. The Sam Lake poo face is my favorite face. I didn't say anything stupid if that's what you want. I didn't know who farted, but I knew I'd find out. <laughs> Are you gonna start with me about drinking now? You know what? Go back to sleep, Alan. Damn, Alan, you are a, you are a diva. You're just a giant piece of shit, what? you sunglasses wearing motherfucker. This morning, I was angry because you said you'd be home at midnight and you showed up at 7 a.m. and passed out in mid-sentence. Now I'm over it. Are you angry? This goddamn tour. It's gotten out of I'm always life. angry. Oh, I'm furious honey. about my success. <laughs> God damn me for being such a tortured to soul. And you can start God, up. why am I so brilliant? How so could I be so popular and beloved? You're not thinking straight. Alice, you don't understand. I'm in a gilded <laughs> cage. A gilded cage, Alice! <laughs> yeah, you're right, honey. I'm sorry. Once this is over, let's go away together. A vacation. Just yeah, you and let's go to the Pacific the Northwest. Northwest. Yeah, I hear it's nice there this time of year. And the best part is, I hear everyone up there's illiterate. <laughs> By the way, this is uh, the present day. Somehow, the clicker was. The oh, key great! I can't believe that it's had to June eighteenth, twenty seventeen. Oh no! You dated this video. See you. Yeah, yeah. All right. So figure out how long it takes. <laughs> See you all in twenty twenty seven when it comes out. Going back to the late to You're so young back the then. The I know. The manuscript on my own terms. To make it all right. But why can't you just write it here? <laughs> the last page. That's a good fucking typer. question, actually. <laughs> Everything needs to be just right. Zane tried to cut some corners, and it didn't end well. Okay, yeah, he wrote himself out want. of existence. Sorry, <laughs> Imagine how much damage I could do, do with my brilliance. I know. Take her gun. Miss Weaver, close the door when I leave. Oh, you don't have to tell me twice, young man. I'm sorry I ever brought you here. <laughs> I wanted you to get out <laughs> ten minutes ago. Luck, Barry Al. is a little tears face. I know. Oh. I love <laughs> Barry. Alan wrote that scene too. I know. Maybe he does have an emotional bone in his body. <laughs> he does. But like <laughs> Barry, Barry's crying about maybe sorry. never seeing him again. Uh, Barry doesn't I know the real Alan. I didn't stop to question it. <laughs> I had to take advantage of the We do though. Away. We've been with him for the past Zane's like 8 hours of our lives. What a tweety piece of <laughs> shit. <laughs> That's where I was headed. Yay, we're going to Cauldron Lake! Hell yeah. Click. Today we are going to go and give Cauldron Lake a rim job. Yeah, uh, we're gonna stick a, stick a clicker all up of it and click it until it goes click. Click, click, boom. Alone, in daylight. Chick, chick, so boom! The Pacific Northwest landscape. It was hard yeah, not beautiful. to let doubt creep in one last time. The beauty of this video game Vista. Everything up to a dream. I mean, as far as they go, it's I had enough pretty good. It is pretty good, yes. Having been in the Except for that giant time, fucking Verizon billboard over there. Oh my god. <laughs> my god. <laughs> they ruin everything. There would be no way of knowing. I told myself it didn't really matter. My course was set. Hell yeah, it is. And we are going to, uh, we're going to execute this plan flawlessly, I'm sure. Yeah, there's not going to be a single hitch. Absol that Verizon billboard won't fall on our car. Yes, absolutely not. That would be silly. Oh, but uh, enjoy this moment of peace, because it's the last one we're going to have for a while. Well, thank goodness I had time to finish my drink. I know. Coffee, I assume. Oh, of course. Yeah. By the thermos. Yeah, yeah, naturally. Man, this is a pretty looking game, though. It's honestly a shame that they didn't have more stuff happen during the day, because look at this. Yeah. Imagine driving around and 
like, I don't know, buying organic string beans. <laughs> Alan Wake goes to the farmer's market. <laughs> <laughs> Perhaps appearing on an episode of Washington Grown on public access TV, KSPS Spokane, Washington. Wow, that is, that is impressive. We, we get we get Spokane Public TV up here in Canada. I see. I, I don't know why. <laughs> I want to see Alan and his wife on one of those, like, home-building improvement shows where, like, we bought a cabin. I, I'm a writer. Our budget is $500 million. Love it or list it. <laughs> <laughs> I would list the bird leg cabin. I would not live there. I agree. It's... It's a great location, and it has so much character, but it's got a crazy ghost woman, so... Yeah, that might that might drag down the property value just a little bit. Maybe slightly. Well, before you make your choice, Alan Wake, look what we did with Barbara Jagger! <laughs> oh, wow. We've turned her into a standing liquor cabinet! <laughs> <laughs> My god. It's better than I could have ever had. We'll take it. Get these bottles out of me, <laughs> Alan Wake. I'll destroy you and your family. <laughs> hey, is that coffee in there? <laughs> <laughs> it's coffee liqueur, you dunce. <laughs> I bet that would taste like shit. Coffee liquor? Mmm. <laughs> Good old Tia Maria. Uh, yeah, mmm. So this is the last daytime section, so I am really taking advantage of it. I'm going around seeing the sights, because the thing about this episode is that this one is, like, quite a bit shorter than the others, because the credits of this game are, like, I don't know, they're, like, 15, 20 minutes long. <laughs> and I don't know, the, this episode, the, the denouement of Alan Wake is, like, surprisingly chopped to pieces for some strange reason. Yeah. It's it's like a lot of games you can tell that they kind of run out of budget near the end, and the same is true for this game, for a reason that we're about to see in about 30 seconds, but it feels like they really ran the budget to the absolute limit in this game. And like right at the tail end, they kind of did a, a belly flop. The darkness had touched me. There was a link between us, always would be. I could feel its presence again, getting closer. The, uh, the giant ethereal spirit roar uh, kind of clued me in on that. Oh no, the darkness. Why did I go in this tunnel? Why did he go in the tunnel? I literally don't know. <laughs> hey, look at that! Suddenly it's nighttime! Yep. So this is probably the exact moment where the game's budget ran out because they have just given us the most convenient excuse for it to be nighttime. <laughs> You walked through dark. Now it's night. Fuck you. <laughs> yep, that's right. In literary terms, that's actually three asterisks. <laughs> Welp. Remember that thing about enjoying the daytime while it lasts? Well, it's over now. Oh, see, thanks to my special understanding of time, I'm actually still stuck in the ellipsis. And, uh, and Alan Wake is getting, uh, an organic avocado smoothie. Oh, that's nice. You gotta charge up if you're gonna no go fight the darkness. To Naturally. The writer so he could create the ending it wanted. The writer knew too much. He was too strong. And he carried a weapon left behind by Thomas Zane. Something that could hurt it. Now, the darkness was doing everything in its power to simply stop the writer from ever reaching Cauldron Lake and the dark place it came from. So that's their, uh, that's their justification for it suddenly being night now. It's like, I don't know, the darkness just wants to stop Alan now, fuck it. It's just night now. Yeah, but like, the whole, the whole conceit of this is that the story had to flow. Yeah. Yeah. Otherwise the whole thing would fall apart. Actually, you know what, if we take that reading, this actually might be the reason that Alan is able to succeed. Maybe. Maybe so. Although, we don't know yet if he's going to succeed, do we, Skippy Granola? Um, 
No, if he doesn't succeed, that would be an unnecessarily artistic downer ending for this video <laughs> game. <laughs> I guess that is true, yes. Ah, oh, the Majestic Hotel. Majestic! A hunter is a hunter, even in a dream. <laughs> so, this is an interesting little pit stop we can make here. This, um... Go sit in the corner. <laughs> So, uh, this hotel in here, uh... Based on the signature in the motel register, Agent Nightingale had stayed here, in room number two. I was about to say that, Alan, thank you. <laughs> this, uh, this hotel shows up in the Alan Wake files. This is where Nightingale was staying, uh, when he returned from his incredibly awesome, super badass detective work around the town of Bright Falls. He made a hobby of going around intimidating old ladies and drinking toilet coffee. <laughs> it, it helps you work things through. I guess that's true. Coffee does do that, doesn't it? If anything, yeah. that's an appropriate place to have coffee. <laughs> yeah, it always helps me think through a difficult problem. Uh, yeah, that's what I meant by that. <laughs> But yeah, Man. the this place is very strange. Hell yeah. Fuck you, Can Tower. <laughs> BRB. <laughs> this place has very strange ambient noises that play. I don't remember if you get attacked by enemies here, but you might. This had obviously been the room where Agent Nightingale had stayed when he hadn't been busy harassing me. How can you tell? He was reading that horrible doctor's book. Yeah. Rest rest in peace, Dr. Hartman. Or don't. No. <laughs> I hope you lick demon butt in hell. Yeah. Hartman. Yeah. What a mess. I know. It's almost like he left here in a hurry. Did, did Nightingale's bed have two blankets on it, or does the Majestic Inn just provide, like, plaid sleeping bags? Well, I mean... This is the wilderness. It's an authentic wilderness experience. Wow, it's like camping, except the forest is a shitty motel. Yeah, amazing. Hey, want some toilet coffee? It's on the house. Yeah, 100%. I'd sure like a continental poo breakfast. <laughs> so yeah, there's nothing too super important here. It's just a little, uh... A little side thing, like, hey, remember Nightingale? Yeah, he's dead now. He got taken by the yeah. darkness, so... He's he's totally dead. He is a, and he he's was irrelevant. also a total creepazoid. It's true, he was. A drunk creepazoid. Jeez. I know. He's he's certainly using his FBI expenditures for, uh, for good use. <laughs> Man, he, he was no Dale Cooper, that's for sure. That is very true. He's... Nightingale was the worst FBI agent. He was like the anti-Dale Cooper. <laughs> yeah. I am going to switch my car for something a little cooler looking. Get rid of this piece of shit crossover and get into a grandpa car! Hell yeah. So, uh, right next to the grandpa car, there was a, a trailer hitch. And, uh, if you... <laughs> If you drive off of the trailer hitch, you can do a sweet ramp, uh, but then you ramp off the cliff and your car explodes and you die. <laughs> I I have I have no idea what the point of it is. Uh, just a hubris trap, I suppose. I guess so. Alan Wake wanted to feel badass one last Whoa. time. Who is throwing tractors? I mean, the darkness. Oh. Yeah. Right. Yeah, you might you might have forgotten about that that whole darkness thing. Well, it's still a problem. Smarten up, darkness. Stop throwing tractors. <laughs> hey, it's it's like the it's it's like that manuscript page said. The darkness just doesn't give a damn anymore. It'll throw like ten tractors at Alan if it stops him. Man alive. And to be fair, I would think that taking one tractor directly to the face would stop you. But Alan, he perseveres. They sure don't make cars like that anymore. <laughs> able to withstand a hurled tractor. Right. That's why I switched to that car, because it's got that old rustic sensibility where it's, like, made of very sturdy materials. 
That's Detroit Steel right there. <laughs> Detroit Steel is also my favorite Alan Wake book. <laughs> Pul he, he does write pretty pulpy crime novels. That's funny. Detroit Steel is actually uh, my burlesque dancer alter ego name. <laughs> <laughs> my gimmick is that I'm punchy. <laughs> oh, man. Look at that hot double chin on Skimpy Granola. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my goodness. <laughs> He's shaking that man, baby, buddy. <laughs> you remember that that Adventure Time where Jake gets turned into a man, baby? That's that's basically my position. <laughs> <laughs> so this bridge is such a pain in the ass. Like I don't know what it is about Alan Wake that makes him hate bridges so much. But like, in a game full of bridges that try to kill you. This one tries to kill you the hardest of all of them. I guess they had to throw in some kind of, like, gauntlet as a final boss, because it's not like you can, like, throw down with the darkness. Yeah, it's true. Like, I will say that they succeeded at that. Like, segments, segments like this where, like, you are making your way inch by inch like it's fucking Doom or Serious Sam or some shit, yeah. Dodging fridges. <laughs> yeah. That's pretty good. I do appreciate that Alan has at least some form of regenerative power, though. Yeah. All that coffee has just, like, injected hormones, pure, like, directly into his adrenal glands so that he can, like, heal wounds instantly. <laughs> He's basically like Wolverine, except, you know, caffeinated even more. Yeah. He's like Instead the, of being, like, Weapon X, he's just kind of a douche. <laughs> he's Weapon D. <laughs> <laughs> he's Weapon D. <laughs> I'm the best at what I do, bub. <laughs> what I do is probably only useful to people who don't really read literary fiction. <laughs> <laughs> and hey, look! They actually did put in a boss fight here. We are fighting. Ah. We are fighting yet more bulldozing equipment. I feel like this would just kill you if you got smashed by that. But again, Alan Wake has the ability to heal blunt force trauma much faster than anybody else. Nice to see you too. Apparently, backhoes are more feeble than we give them credit for. I guess so. Like, man, if you take a floodlight to a backhoe, it just won't survive. Well. Let's, let's be honest, those things are basically the dinosaurs of the construction yard. I mean, I've played The Surge. That's basically what they are. <laughs> I love fighting construction equipment. It's what I do in these yeah. Let's Plays. I love being construction equipment. I... It's better if you're getting paid for that, but sure. Eh, you know. Well, you know, it's like those, uh, those adventure parks where, you know... Where white collar working men can uh, can pay lots of money to go operate a backhoe or a ah. dump truck for a while. Ah, you can be the man child you've always wanted to be. Spe it's me. I'm Tonka Tuck. <laughs> yeah. Speaking of man children, hey, look, it's a monster truck for some reason. Oh man, it's a shame we gotta kill it because monster trucks are the most majestic of vehicles. I know. A monster truck is a monster truck, even in a dream. <laughs> I honestly wish you could drive that thing, but no, it's going to vaporize as soon as we murder it. Such a shame, we gotta shine a light on it. And hey look, it's the return of the Skyboat over there behind us. Oh, praise Skyboat. Skyboat be praised. We love you, Skyboat. Hey, yep. Uh, we still haven't forsaken you in these 35 years we've been doing this Let's Play. Uh, I go to Skyboat Services every Sunday. <laughs> you certainly do bow your head for the Skyboat in a very stern manner. Yeah, absolutely. And then you go, uh, then you go to the bar and drink some port -er uh -huh. to forget that horrible joke. Yep. <laughs> wow. 
You, uh, you, you sure, you sure have, uh, mastered boat words. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I am a pretty, I am pretty, I'm a pretty good master baiter. Yep, yep, that's a true fisherman. <laughs> I know, yep, I go fishing a lot. It is summer, after all. A true fisherman is mastered bait. Exactly. <laughs> Can you tell that this is the last episode of the main game? <laughs> <laughs> To be fair, though, right now the game's not giving us a whole lot to work with, is it? <laughs> no, I mean, you know, just uh, steal a, a truck, I guess. Yeah. It's not a monster truck, but it'll do. I would save Jeff Goldblum in this truck. Run away from a fucking <laughs> T-Rex, sure. Yeah, yeah, that's perfect, actually. Yeah. I'm on board. Alan Wake fighting dinosaurs. Like, darkness, like, taking dinosaurs. I want that. I am still sorry that we never got to fight Bucktooth Charlie. I, man, that's one of the greatest disappointments of this game, is that you never fight Bucktooth Charlie. Right? We, I swear to God, we're supposed to. Oh yeah, I know. It had to have been in the cards at some point. <laughs> I, oh. I know, you can, it's, it looks so much like you can bust right through that fence, but it is so fucking solid. <laughs> they make fences really good out there. I mean, to be fair, like, you, you, don't, you don't want coyotes, like, just hopping into your cornfields. No, certainly not in trucks. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? A coyote driving a truck would be pretty fucking dangerous. <laughs> <laughs> Coyotes stealing trucks, driving around, acting a fool. Oh my oh! fucking god! <laughs> Why would you throw a school bus in the darkness? It, well, to be fair, it did do a good job of blocking up the road. I sure hope that there were no darkness-taking children in that bus. Are you fucking you're, uh, really? I hope there were several of them in there. I hope they made. Yeah. I hope they made funny noises bouncing off the walls. <laughs> <laughs> Ah, oh, damn. We've come to the end of the road. Still, I can't... Here. Still, I can't let go. I'm gonna put that song in over the credits. <laughs> Skippy Granola and I were talking about this before the video started. Uh, the video we are currently watching, the, the four commentary version, uh, is blocked in 242 countries because of the song that plays over the end credits of this game. Uh, so I'm gonna have to figure out what I'm gonna do about that. <laughs> I might just never post the last episode just to, just to spite YouTube. Leave it, leave it unfinished. <laughs> Your greatest unfinished symphony. I know, it, it's, it's a true work of art that way. And then, you know, down the line, your uh, your your estate could release your un unfinished LPs. That's right. D down the line, in a year of in a year or so, when I die of old age. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> this last episode of Alan Wake uh, drew quite a bit of uh, quite a bit of criticism because. It is one of the weaker episodes, mostly because there's really just not much to it except for making it to the lake. But like, I don't know, I kind of like it. Like we just killed like 20 taken. <laughs> like Yeah. It's just it's a combat gauntlet. It is. There's no more plot. Pretty much. We have run out of plot and now all we have to do is end it. <laughs> it's it's kind of like Alan himself doesn't quite know how to end the story, so he's just like He's just, like, purple prosing it up until he gets there. <laughs> and then there was a big, cool gunfight! And then there was another big, cool gunfight. And another one for about an hour and a half or so. <laughs> wow, the shots were all like, pop, pop! The visual effects were absolutely spectacular. Boy, this really should be made into a film. <laughs> or a video game. Oh, no, I hate video games. They're for whack jobs. Yeah, for real. Who would play video games? What a waste of time. I know. What a what kind of a nut bar would play a video game? <laughs> what 
kind of nut bar would play any video game that isn't Dragon's Dogma Darker? <laughs> I saw you were streaming that the other day. <laughs> it's the best game ever made. If only there were giant taken monsters that Alan Wake could climb on. Oh, it'd be so good. Yeah. What if, you know, you could just hang on Barbara Jagger's face? <laughs> just hang off and just be really chill. Yet another reason to have Bucktooth Charlie be in this damn game. For real. A spoiled missed opportunity, I say. And then maybe this could turn into an open world game with crafting so that you could take Bucktooth Charlie's tusks and turn them into some kind of a weapon. <laughs> damn, I need more diamonds so that I can craft a better flashlight. Yeah, I need this mammoth flashlight. <laughs> Carries the strength of ten flashlights, but in exchange, it's very heavy. <laughs> you have to manage. Sail. You have to manage your Alan Wake's equip load by wearing different jackets. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. Oh no, I can't use the leather patches. I'm fat rolling. <laughs> They provide a lot of a lot of resistance against frost, though. <laughs> <laughs> oh no! Whoa! Come on, buddy. You're not supposed to be here. Friggin' lamp lady should have put down a I don't know. You know it's wire or something. It's true. Why does she never put lights in these places? Like she'll mark them as secret hidden caches, but she doesn't like actually put light there to ward off the darkness. Yeah, it's foolishness. Why would she hide these in the dark? It's like she she gives a shit, but she doesn't give enough of a shit. Oh, do you know what? I think the reason is, when she was younger, in the 70s, she was a dungeon master. Ah, okay, of course. So, like, what, what she intended for, like, she intended for that trap to happen. Yeah, you yeah. need some kind of a random encounter, otherwise the, the loot feels cheap. Of course, yeah. <laughs> well, we certainly earned it. Yeah, I'd say. Look at that, a hunting rifle. I will take that hunting rifle, and I will hunt many men with it. The ultimate right. prey. We will hunt the most dangerous game. Shadows. <laughs> no matter how hard I try, I can never catch up to my own. <laughs> Stop mocking me. He's doing everything that I do. <laughs> Where's Vamp from Metal Gear Solid to pin my shadow down so I can beat it up? Oh, for goodness sake. Maybe I should rub some soap on, on my feet. Like <laughs> Peter Pan. <laughs> Maybe I should kidnap children like Peter Pan. <laughs> yeah, that's right. That'll solve it. Wow. Yeah, Alan White too. Certainly very dark. <laughs> Just like my favorite Metallica song, we are going off to Never Never Land. Oh no. <laughs> you know what? Enter Sandman would be a good theme song for this game. That sounds absolutely fine. I think we should roll with it. Exit light! <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yes. I'm gonna put that over the credits. No, I'm not. That would be excruciating. <laughs> Yeah, I, it would, and that would just be begging for a copyright strike. <laughs> I know, and it get blocked in 243 countries. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> Not even those McDonald Islanders would be able to watch it. The, uh, what? The McDonald Islands. Te tell the viewers what the McDonald Islands are, Skippy Granola. Oh, yeah, like, one of the only countries besides Canada and the States where this exact video is not blocked is uh, a small chain of islands oh no of volcanic no. islands it is blocked in the mcdonald islands oh that's it that was one of the places on the list yes a volcanic <gasps> island where nobody lives is on the list of places you can't view this video just just off the coast of australia <laughs> yeah, it's it's blocked there so sorry mcdonald islanders i'm so sorry you will never get to experience the magic that is alan wake driving for 30 hours I can't believe that you're not going to catch that sweet Indian Ocean demographic for your YouTube channel. <laughs> That's the thing. My, my audience is 95% male, 4% female, 1% Indian Oceaners. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think Indian Oceaners are a gender, but... <laughs> oh, it's fine. I, I'm sure they count if they want to. There's so few of them that they can be whatever they want to be. They're an independent they're nation chill. like that. 
people of Calder oh. Lake was a graveyard of things the lake had claimed in one way or another over the decades. The dark presence brought them up in its wake, scattering the rotten water <laughs> logs. Brought them up in its Allen wake. <laughs> hey, yep. Long ago crashed airplane there. Trees shattered under the impacts. The earth groaned. It didn't even notice. Hey, I, you, you know what? I told you several episodes ago that Skyboat would come back in some form, and you didn't believe me. I bet the people watching that video did not believe that we were going to get more Skyboat lore. But look at that. I was right. I, I certainly didn't. Uh, you know what? I never held much trust with these with these apocalyptic fantasies of yours. <laughs> You're always like, oh, you just wait. The second coming of Skyboat is going to be any day now. And and I'm always like, see, Jacobs, look, the stories are allegories, man. You know, <laughs> Skyboat represents the the. The aspirational nature of humanity. We should aspire to be Skyboat, but that doesn't mean that Skyboat's literally gonna come crashing down on our heads. Well, would you look at that? Look who was right! Sometimes the nut jobs aren't entirely nut jobs. I literally have no idea what to believe anymore. <laughs> <laughs> well, believe this, sucker! We're fighting another bulldozer! Man! It's the anti boat! <laughs> <laughs> Also, he just crushed my car into a fucking soda can. He's ushering in a thousand years of darkness. Ah, well, I mean, hey, we've got the clicker. Oh, the skyboat is my shepherd I shall not want. <laughs> Do not linger from the light of the skyboat's amazing floodlights. Nevermore shall I cast adrift, rudderless at sea. <laughs> For skyboat is with me. Skyboat, be the billowy sails, driving me towards calmer waters. <laughs> wow, that is impressive. <laughs> Truly, Skyboat is the greatest. Skyboat is love. What are you doing? No, don't you swing that car around. You don't you dare. I, I kind of wish that I kind of wish that crane also attacked you and it was like a Dark Souls <laughs> boss where you had to fucking like roll underneath the crane. Attack the crane's groin. That's its weak point. <laughs> Shadow of the Washingtonian. <laughs> I ca you know, I kind of like that there isn't more spectacle to this. Like, I, I am sure that there are people out there that are disappointed that the last episode of Alan Wake is just more of Alan making his way through the countryside. But I kind of <laughs> like that. I kind of like that this is technically still the real world, even to the, the bitter fucking end. He, he sticks to his guns as a writer. That's right. He st you know what they say, the pen is mightier than being actually creative. <laughs> As long as you can keep swinging that pen, you can do anything. We are so desperately sorry, Sam Lake. <laughs> <laughs> I should do a Let's Play of Quantum Break after this. That would be fun. Would it? No. No. It'd be quite excruciating, actually, to see what how the mighty have dull fallen. Game. <laughs> oh, well. I've reached my item limit. <laughs> but yeah, I don't know. I, I really appreciate this part. Room. I'd acted as if I knew what I was doing. I no, actually, I'm full of shit. <laughs> That's basically what he's saying. Fight my way to the God, I the literally have no idea I what I'm doing. I mean, battered light switch imbued with childhood magic. I had to write out the ending of a horror story. I had to say when I phrased it that way, it sounded like she an was idiot. <laughs> Man, I really feel like a like a big old dumbass right about now. Maybe some God, humility. Maybe some humility will help my case. <laughs> what if I show some kind of like a character arc? Maybe that'll help. <laughs> Maybe if I call myself a dumbass, I don't have to actually think I'm a dumbass. Yeah. 
Man, if I call myself a dumbass first, that means nobody else can say it. <laughs> Man, I'm a genius and not at all a dumbass. Oh no! Yeah. <laughs> oh no, karmic bad things keep happening, why? Gosh! Who knew that hubris could be so dangerous? <laughs> I, as a writer, should know this, but as it turns out, I have no talent! Gosh! <laughs> that should be the thought. That should be that should be the subtitle of this game. I have no talent and I must scream. <laughs> no, no, I have no talent and I must screed. <laughs> so we heard about uh, we heard about this ghost town a very very long time ago, and now we're finally seeing it in person. Fuck you, water tower. Yeah. Boat, what lives in the air? <laughs> that didn't actually seem to serve any purpose, like taking out that water tower. Like, that was just kind of a dick move. It was intimidating as hell. I mean, that's true. But, like, historical preservation, Barbara Jagger, come on. For real, it's like she doesn't give a shit about anything except preserving her status quo. <laughs> White people, am I right? <laughs> Well, she's a ghost, so she is pretty white. Ah! <laughs> it's a fat chainsaw man! Oh, it was a fat chainsaw man. We're fine. Yeah, the, the hunting rifle kind of makes short work of the chainsaw guys, so even they aren't intimidating at this point. I, I have to wonder. Did Alan write that there would be hunting rifle ammo and coffee thermoses and shit here, or are these just, like, left here from, like, the frontier days? Well, you gotta assume that Alan Wake has written everything into existence because he, Alan Wake, is bigger than God. I mean, at this point, he pretty much is. Like, if I were Alan, I would just be running around with the clicker in my hand instead of a flashlight, just, like... <laughs> Waving it around, click, 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 click. Fuck Woo! you, darkness. <laughs> Yeehaw! Oh, well, I guess that did serve a purpose. Ah, oh, jeez. Uh, the purpose it well, served was property damage. No going back that way. <laughs> yes, because Alan, Alan was definitely thinking about running away this far into his journey. Well. That one was. Oh! That was fucking you close. Weasel. Oh. And yeah, you're right. It is Alan Wake. Who knows? He might turn into a coward at any moment. <laughs> I love having the spotlight. Spotlight's the best. I know. <laughs> I love that the. I love that the Taken solution to like your spotlight is to just appear behind the spotlight. <laughs> <laughs> Crappy bastards. I know. They're so smart with their ability to walk and all. Gosh. But anyway. I can't believe they're using tactics. I know. And it's it's kind of funny that the chainsaw men have stopped being that big of a challenge now that we have the hunting rifle, because the game's gonna start throwing them at us fucking en masse. <laughs> so I think they realized that. <laughs> It's almost like this video game needs a difficulty arc. Ah, oh, jeez. The the darkness is gonna throw everything that it's got, but luckily Alan Wake has the power of writing a lot of hunting rifles. <laughs> oh, thank God, another hunting rifle. I needed a 37th one. Wow, who knew that there would be so many hunting rifles? <laughs> Damn, a giant box full of 150 fucking pistol rounds. Thank goodness. Well, I can't believe that I found a hunting rifle that itself shoots smaller hunting rifles. <laughs> but they're very fast hunting rifles. They're extremely fast. Yeah, they're extremely lethal tiny hunting rifles. Truly I, Alan Wake, have entered the gungeon. <laughs> Let me play you a sad song on the world's smallest hunting rifle. <laughs> <laughs> it's called Plausible Deniability in F. <laughs> 